Hey YouTube, this is James Lafer with the Impossible Channel. This video is just an awesome video. We're gonna see so much here that is going to raise a lot of questions regarding Flat Earth or you know the fact that we have been lied to all along by NASA into believing we have a smaller Earth. Clearly they are hiding more continents for financial and other reasons, resources for example and other things. You can see for example Chicago from Michigan, you know this, this is Rob's video, this is amazing, he really went to the trouble of proving that you could and it was not a mirage and he did. This is coming from Dwayne Callum channel. He launched the balloon and the balloon caught several images that prove or help us prove that the sun may be much more local, way more local than we could ever imagine. It looks pretty much closer. And not only that, if Earth is spinning at 1600 kilometers an hour, how did this balloon land only 93 miles away? These are questions that are going to you know, make you and everybody else. For example, here we have chemtrails that look pretty much flat. We have a lot of chemtrails going on here on this part of the video. And all of them are pretty much flat. How could that be if we have a round a spherical planet? This is at 53,000 feet of altitude, folks, and the chemtrails all look flattish. Now, not only that, we have a pretty clear shot of what seems to be a local sunspot. If the sun was as giant as NASA says, and was 93 million miles away, as they say, it shouldn't create such a particular sunspot over a certain place. And then again, we have here no curvature at all. It seems to be no curvature detected at 53,000 feet, but don't worry, we're gonna go higher so we can measure this again. And if we do have a curvature, the question is, is it concave or not? Do we have a round planet or do we have an August Picard planet? This balloon was launched and it landed 93 miles away from where it was launched. And this is like, what the heck? It went as high as 140 feet, 1000 feet, right? This is pretty, really high, like 32 miles high, I don't know, something really high. And it landed just 93 miles away. And also we have astonishing footage of night and day division, right? So right now we're at 79 miles away from it was where it was launched, right? The sun is setting and we can, we're gonna see the sun go under the clouds. If you watch this video till the end, you're gonna see the, the sun go under the clouds and you're gonna see that night and day division very clearly. And I do not believe that this is possible uh, from a balloon, from a high altitude balloon, from uh, 115,000 feet, if the earth was spherical round as they are saying it is. have night and day division right there you know like what the heck is that right that is astonishing it's beautiful indeed and i do remember seeing night and day division from the airplane but never like this i think this is a clear uh a clearer shot of what seems to be night and day division take a look at that folks i've never seen anything like that That is amazing and it's flat, it's not roundish. Right, this is a perfect triangle. So it's it's just weird, you know, it's very, very much weird that maybe we're not living 
on uh well if we are living in a round planet it is so much bigger We should detect a lot of curvature, or at least a little bit of curvature, at this kind of altitude. And we're not detecting that kind of curvature. We're actually de detecting almost no curvature at all. Which brings us again, is the Earth bigger and are they hiding continents? Right? The Illuminati, the Rothschilds, who else, right? Who is hiding these continents? is not only our greatest living explorer, but he's been an inspiration to countless Americans. Admiral Byrd, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any unexplored land left on this Earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now, because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. Well, anyway, guys, so I'm going to thank you all for being here. Don't forget to share, this is really important. People must know that they're hiding. What you just saw there was a real map of Earth and what Emerald Bird was explaining, okay? So leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again.